I guess the Troika would not be complete if I do not mention DD Media. For years now, for years now, and I'm going to make sure the Telegraph never sponsored the CDC again. For years now, when it comes to... No, you, you really need to wind up now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> for years now, for years now, when it comes to unpleasant news regarding the state government, the media here has perfected the art of either staying silent or reporting it as news in brief on the 20th page, bottom left, one size 10. Perhaps they have learned their lesson, including the telegraph, from the howling and Anand, persecution of slapping the multiple days on Avik Sarkar before you were going to step down. Anand, you really need to wrap up because I've got a job to go back to tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, there isn't a job for me in Delhi. You'll get a chance again. Thank you. Will you give me 30 seconds? Yes. Yeah. 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 Box Populi. Box Populi. Okay. So... As brilliant professors are slapped around and arrested for forwarding harmless cartoons and acquitted after 11 years. As journalists like Deva Malia Bhakti are picked up in the middle of the night and thrown in jail. As 20,000 panchayat seats go uncontested because of murder, arson and loot. As ballot boxes are stuffed by Trinamool workers right under the gaze of the camera. As the High Court laments that FIRs were not registered in 60% of the cases of postponed violence. As blood-curdling affidavits are submitted by half-dead women. As judges recuse themselves because of threats. As 40 crores of cash is recovered from the home of TMC conduits. As President Covid is compared to Covid. The Telegraph happily consigns itself to organizing debates. Asking if journalists are more intent on pleasing than presenting. <laughs> You say, you Anand. say you speak truth to power, truth to power. But it seems for you only Modi is in power, Didi is not. Finally, finally, finally. my great friend, Thakurta, or my great friend, the issue now is no longer of journalists pleasing Indians. It has transcended our borders. So now journalists please foreign powers as well. So as China wrecks the world economy, kills millions through a virus that it helped deliberately spread, as China turns a million Muslims in concentration camps and demolishes Sanjay the mosque. There is stunned silence in the editorial rooms of Hindu and the news click. Ask why. This is where journalism is right now. I'm so sorry I've taken so much more time than I should have. Thank you.